Hi everyone and welcome to my in my mailbox of this week. Um, I had a good week mail wise. I got in eight books and I'm very excited to read all of them. So yeah, let's get started. The first book that I got was Entangled by Kat Clark, which is a YA uh, debut for 2011. Um, it's about a girl who wakes up in a white room with a table, some paper and pens and has no clue how she got there and what she's doing there, so sounds very interesting. Uh, I will be counting this one towards my um, debut author challenge over at Story Simon. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Then I got Legacy by Kayla Kluver. I hope I don't butcher your last name. Um, this is her debut and um, she wrote this when she was only 16 so I'm very interested to see what it's about. It's, I only know that it's about a princess who has to marry a man that she doesn't want to marry um, and there's some attractive and mysterious Narian uh, coming along and he has different uh, view on the kingdom and what women should do so it looks pretty good um, it has those ruffled pages. Um, it was only one dollar and forty two cents or something on Amazon, so that helped as well. So yeah, then I got Fire Spell by Chloe Neal, and uh, this is the first book in the Dark Elite series. And I was more interested in Hexbound. I almost bought that one, but then I saw it was the sequel to this one, so I thought I'd give this one a try, and there's a pound sticker on it. I haven't even paid any pounds. And this one is about a girl who goes to a boarding school and discovers there's some kind of monster chasing students. It's just black. Uh, around there, and there's gonna be magic, so I'm really looking forward to that one. And then hopefully I will be able to pick up Hexbound. But the font in this one... Yeah, it's horrible. There's almost no space between the lines. So not really looking forward to that. But yeah. Then I got Vampire Academy by <laughs> Richelle Mead. And I think I'm the last person on Earth to discover this series. I heard about it in... November or December of last year when uh, Last Sacrifice was coming out and it looks interesting but I don't like the covers these are the other covers in case you lived on a rock like I did I don't like those covers but the story sounds good and I've heard great things about the series so I'm going to give this a shot before I usually I buy a box set or something, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one. But we'll see. Vampire Academy. Then, I'm so excited for this one. I got The Iron Thorn by Caitlin Kittredge. And I believe this is steampunk. I haven't read anything steampunk-ish ever. So, very much looking forward to this one. Isn't that gorgeous? This is embossed. Um, it's about a girl who's almost 16 and her mother and her brother both went mad at their 16th birthday. So she has to find a way to stay sane and not take the same route as her mother and brother uh, have done. But she has to find out how she can do that. And this one is the first in the trilogy. It's just black. This is orange. And uh, the Iron Codex is the series. And I'm so looking forward to this one as well. It's a YA debut for 2011 as well. So I'll be counting this for my debut author challenge for this year. And then I got Nevermore by Kelly Craig. And... I was a little hesitant on picking this one up, but I saw it on so many bookshelf tours that was it was ridiculous. But 
Um, the cover is gorgeous. All the writing, both of them, and then the spine, and the back, a pretty dress. And it's about a boy, an outsider, and a popular cheerleading girl, and they get teamed up for an English assignment. And at first they don't want to be teamed up, but then she makes excuses just to be with him. And I believe there's something up with his diary. Or his journal um, with uh, stories from Edgar Allan Poe coming to life. So I'd be very much forward to reading this one. Oh wait, did I show you the spine? It's just it's just black, and this is purple. Very pretty. This is so gorgeous. And then I have. The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan, which is the first book in the Kane Chronicles. And I'm getting a re being a really big fan of Rick Riordan. I love the uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. And I've ordered uh, The Lost Hero as well, which is um, from another series he's writing to at the moment. The Cain Chronicles is one of them. And this one is about uh, a twin, a girl and a boy. And uh, the girl lives with her grandma in London. And the boy lives with his father in Egypt. Because their mother passed away. And they want each other's lives. Because the girl never spends time with her father. So she wants to be with her father. And the boy wants to be uh, where, her, where his sister is. Because... She has a life. She has school and friends and free time and everything. And then they go together to Egypt, I think, or to London. To London and the British Museum and some Egypt, Egyptian legend, myth come to life. So it looks really, really good. I have no experience with uh, these myths. I have read couple of books about Greek mythology now but this one is new for me. Looking very much forward to this one. And then I have Delirium. I'm so excited for this one. You can't even believe. I'm so excited. I've read Before I Fall last month and it was so so good. If you haven't read it please pick up a copy. It was so good. It's one of my favorite books now. And this one is completely different. This is a dystopian. I'm uh, part of a trilogy. This is a book one. And in this world, um, people get a vaccine for love. Uh, so they fall won't fall in love. And uh, right before uh, our main character gets her vaccine, she falls in love. And I'm so excited to read this one. It looks so good. I love Lauren Oliver's writing style. The girl. It's kind of neat. <laughs> and I was planning on reading this right away when it came in. But I started another book a day before. And I was already 75 pages in. So I thought... I've got to finish that book. So I'm currently reading... Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, the first in the uh, Internal Devices series, which is a prequel to the Mortal Instruments series. And I'm not really liking this one. I find it to be slow. Um, I'm almost halfway in. This is why I have to read still. I'm almost halfway in. And nothing really exciting is happening. I mean, we've seen um, Tessa now and we know what's going on with her. And we've seen the Institute, but not so much more than that. Yes, we've seen Camilla. And let me just say, bad plan. But I've heard that it's getting better toward, towards the end. So I'm really hoping that it will be better. Because I'm not liking this one. Maybe it's because I didn't read the Mortal Instruments series, but 
I want. I heard this one was good as a standalone as well. So, yeah. So that was what I got in my mailbox this week. Um, I'm looking forward to each and every one of them. Some more than others. The first thing I'm going to read when I finish Clockwork Angel is Deliria. So, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments below um, if you read any of those books and what you think of them. And let me know what you got in your mailbox this week. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.